when it comes down to it, competition and being a competitor can be a very individual, you know, self-centric pursuit if you allow it to be. So to me, having my family, having a son, it's just given me that greater sense of purpose to be the best that I can be in everything that I'm doing, whether it's as an athlete, it's as a business owner, it's as a husband and a father. You, you feel like there's someone who is depending on you. I, what I do now and the way that I operate myself now is gonna have a lasting effect on who he becomes as a person. And I, I only want the best for him, for him obviously, um, as I think most parents do for their kids. How I conduct myself on the competition floor and in my day to day, it's going to kind of carry over into who he is as a person. And, and I, so I want him to, you know, see me as, as a hero. You know, my, my parents are some of my heroes. They're honestly some of the hardest working people that I've ever met in my life. And so I want him to have that same perception of me. I feel like I am a, a good representation of what hard work can, can do for you if you are determined and you're not willing to give up on things. I've been thinking about that a lot, honestly, and training and you know, kind of grinding in the gym. In the last few weeks, you kind of get to the point where all you really want is to, is to just get here um, and, and just kind of get things going. So I've been kind of keeping him and my wife and the other people who are um, you know, super, super supportive of me in the back of my mind whenever I'm about to start you know, my third or fourth workout of the day or whatever, and I'm not really feeling like I'm not really wanting to do it. I'd much rather kind of just chill out and, and relax a little bit, but I know that that's, you know, ultimately it's gonna pay off for, um, you know, the people who have made sacrifices for me to be here, the people who have supported me.